The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org slash action. While the latest ex ex exhibit by the Crossing Arts Alliance is displaying work by some of Brainerd's area's youngest artists. For this week's In Focus, reporter Mel Meyer found out what inspired the elementary and middle school students. The annual Young at Art exhibit features work by students from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade from schools in Brainerd, Pequot Lakes and Crosby Ironton. The teachers at each school were able to pick out the art to be featured. It could be a piece that they felt really represented the lessons they were teaching or that it was especially colorful. The pieces are picked out almost like how any other artist would have theirs chosen. Lori Wigg picked 10 students from her fifth grade class to have their work in the exhibit. Sometimes when we look at the pieces, we look for things that just kind of are visually appealing to us, kids who have taken um, some time to really dig into their artistic side. The young artists were bold in their decision processes, using inspiration from Monet, Van Gogh, and of course, themselves. I have roses on here because Rose is my middle name, and I have one of the cats on here because I have that kind of cat. <laughs> For many, this was the first time their work had ever been featured in such a way. I was excited on the inside, but I was a little nervous on the outside. And they couldn't believe that so many people were here to see their art. I didn't know this many people would be here either. This was a particularly proud day for first grader Mila Harrison, as her art class is her favorite part of the day. Her grandma was also excited because she used to work for the Crossing Arts Alliance. I just absolutely love this exhibition. It's one of my favorites because you see so many little budding artists and it just reaffirms um, their creative spirit. The organization has now chosen the top art project from each grade to be professionally framed and put on display for one year at the local YMCA. Ellie Hoffman's was selected, possibly in part due to her creative yes, process. You use the tape and you like strip it and then you just water color paint it and then you use salt on top of it. The Young at Art exhibit is free and open to the public from now until April 28th. In Brainerd with this week's In Focus, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.